Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you what you can do in case you're trying to upgrade or install Windows 11 on an incompatible computer that doesn't support TPM 2.0 and secure. But in this video, I'm going to show you the process that you need to follow in order to do this. A quick disclaimer before starting anything, you're doing this process at your own risk because TPM and secure boot have their own purpose and the Windows 11 installation and use. So as I've said, you're doing this at your own risk. Now let's begin the process. First of all, we're going to have to download the the Windows 11 ISO from the official Windows 11 download page. You're going to have the link to that in the article down below in the description. And then go to create Windows installation media and then click on download now. We're going to download the media creation tool and with the media creation tool, we're going to download the Windows 11 ISO. Accept the terms and then um, wait a bit because Windows 11 setup is getting a few things ready. You can use the recommended options for this PC and then click on next. Select ISO file and then click on next and select the location where you want that ISO file to be downloaded to and then click on save. The download process will start and depending on your internet connection, the ISO file should be downloaded within a few minutes. After the download process is finished, uh, the process of creating the Windows 11 installation media will start. This shouldn't take longer than five minutes. After the process is finished, we can click on the finish button and we have the ISO here on our desktop. We're just gonna double click on the ISO to start the upgrade process. And once the ISO is mounted, double click on setup. On user account control, click on yes. Preparing Windows, as you can see, and the upgrade process is preparing. Install Windows 11, setup will go online to get updates, drivers and optional features, and so on and so forth. You can click on next. It is getting updates and checking for updates. And in a few seconds, you'll see that the Windows 11 setup will tell us that our computer is not compatible with Windows 11 because it doesn't support TPM 2.0 and secure. But we're gonna use a script created by a GitHub user that was made for this to be able to bypass the TPM 2.0 check and secure boot. Now the Windows 11 setup will restart. Now it is checking our PC and you're gonna see that it will tell us that our computer is not compatible with Windows 11. As you can see, this PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. Here's why the PC must support TPM 2.0 and the PC must support secure boot. And we cannot go any further. We can only click on close. So I'm gonna click on close and we're gonna download the media creation tool.bat this is the script that i was talking about you're going to have the link in the description down below in the article to this media creation tool.bat just click on download zip to download the script you can open it up and then extract it where you want it i'm going to extract it on my desktop if you go in the folder you can right click on skip tpm check on dynamic update v2 right click on it and then click on run as administrator. On the smart screen, click on more info and then click on run anyway. And on user account control, click on yes. CMD will be opened up and after that PowerShell will open up too and will let us know that the script was successfully installed and the TPM check on dynamic update was installed. We can exit out from this folder and let's run the setup again. Double click on the Windows 11 setup then click on yes. We're gonna click on next and basically we're gonna do the same process but you're gonna see that now when it will check for our computer, some things will be different. Now it is checking our computer and they are getting a few things ready as you can see. And now we can go further and accept the terms. Now it is checking for updates. As you saw, it is letting us install Windows 11 without bothering us that it doesn't support TPM or secure boot. As I've said at the beginning of the video, you're doing this process at your own risk because TPM and Secure Boot have their own purpose in the Windows 11 installation and use. Now, as you can see, we have this section, what needs your attention. The following things need your attention to continue the installation and keep your Windows settings personal files and apps. Basically, they warn us that the computer doesn't meet the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11, and they are making us to click on accept to acknowledge that we read and understood this data. As you can see here, damages to your PC due to lack of compatibility are not covered under the manufacturer warranty. So as I've said, do this at your own risk. Click on accept. Now it is making sure if that our computer has enough space and we are ready to install is gonna keep our personal files and apps so everything is good to go. Just click on install and the process of installation will start. Now the computer is restarting. Windows is working on updates. Please keep your computer on and the computer may restart a few times. All you need to do is to wait for this process to be finished and in a few minutes you're gonna be on Windows 11. Now Windows 11 is getting things ready. As you can see, we start to see the new font and everything new. This might take a few minutes. Don't turn off your computer or PC 
and we're gonna be on Windows 11 in a few moments. And as you can see now, we are on Windows 11. We're gonna search for WinVert to see which version we are on, and we are on the official released version 22K.194. So basically, this is how we can install Windows 11 on an incompatible computer that doesn't support TPM 2.0 or secure, but all the links necessary to the Windows 11 download page and the script that will help you bypass TPM check and secure boot will be in the article down below in the description. This was the video for today. If it was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.